was uh, really handsome, a gentleman, no doubt. So I was so excited when he finally asked me out, but nervous beyond belief, because on a scale of one to ten, I never score that highly when it comes to me and men. And I, I'm not really fussy. I don't need money, don't need glamour. I just get really crazy when it comes down to bad grammar. Um, and guys don't seem to be into it uh, because they seem to disappear. So I made myself a promise. I said, this time, don't be weird. And when we got to the restaurant, I was, I was feeling quite prepared uh, until Tom said, shall we sit over there? I said, excuse me, Tom, going to stop you right there. I'm really going to need you to spell that there. Sorry to bring out the grammar police, but was that there, E-I-R, or there, E-R-E? Tom looked befuddled and a little upset, muddled by my unusual first day etiquette, but he raised his hand and said, I'm fully aware of the difference between there, there, and there. Thank you, Tom. That's the answer that I need. Now I'm confident that this date can proceed, so forgive me, Tom, and pardon my bad manners, but there's nothing less attractive than a guy with bad grammar. What are you doing? manage this obsession. Why are you trying to make this date a fucking English lesson? I think he's losing interest. His smile's begun to fade your grammar Nazi. It's no wonder that you're never getting laid. But Tom was so forgiving. He didn't seem to care. His eyes, warm velvet, as I gazed into his stare, and we all felt so romantic by the burn of candlelight. Until Tom said, you're looking lovely tonight. I said, excuse me, Tom, going to stop you like before. I'm really going to need you to spell that your. See, grammar, it's very important to me. So was that your O-U-R or your R-E? Tom looked cross and he crinkled up his skin. He said, the your that's got the apostrophe. And I said, that's right, Tom. And pardon my bad manners, but there's nothing less attractive than a guy with bad grammar. Get a grip. And don't do that again. Your fucking spelling bees are always scaring off the men. And Tom seems really lovely and you're getting on so well, but you know he's going to leave if you keep making him spell. And dinner's almost over, so think of something now. You do this every bloody time, you're patronising cow. Shall we get dessert? I think that could be fun. And Tom said, would you like to choose which one? I said, excuse me, Tom, I don't mean to be a bitch, but I'm really going to need you to spell that witch. See, I just can't bear grammatical mistakes. Or was that witch with a T or with a C-H? Tom looked angry now when his face began to twitch. He said, I'm starting to think that you're the fucking witch. I said, but which witch, Tom? He said, a witch with a T. I said, Tom, now I know that you're the man for me. Tom got up to leave. I said, Tom, please stay. I, I know I'm quite intense and you want to walk away, but I'm nice. And, and kind and genuine, so genuine. And, and I think if I could just get over this obsession of really good grammar, then you'd like me. I hope you'd like me because I like you. So could you give me another chance? Please, could you give me another chance? And Tom said, uh, definitely. Definitely. I said, excuse me, Tom. Tom left. Tom left. 